Hey there, we're doing something a little bit different here. Uh, it's Matt again. Uh, wife went to Aldi this week, of all places, and picked up a little something. Well, you see it right in front of you here, the Polar Express. Uh, Polar Express is, especially around the holiday times, Polar Express holds a very special place in my heart. I actually still have the first edition Polar Express book. Um, it also came with a cassette tape and a sleigh bell. And yes, I can still hear the sleigh bell today at 35 years old almost. Uh, still hear that bell, so I, I truly do believe. But um, yeah, this little guy here is, uh, I think, 29 bucks. Um, it is licensed by Lionel. It actually has Lionel on the box and says uh, Lionel LLC underneath of it. Um, it's, you know, of course it's plastic. As you can notice, it's sitting on my O scale layout because the, it is very, very close to O gauge. Let me stress gauge. This here is an O scale figure next to the, uh, uh, 262 that it is. It's not actually that. Um, let me bring in my... GP30 for a little bit of reference here. This is an O scale GP30. Quite a bit, uh, yeah, quite a bit different. So not definitely not quite scale, but um, it actually because I was just goofing around when you know trying to figure out how to do a little review video for it, a little something fun for the holidays. Uh, comes with this kind of track. It is a plastic track. It is flexible, but I don't think, even with my giant hands, I don't think I'm going to have any issues breaking it because, it, like I said, it is flexible, lightweight. Um, this little train is just going to go around my uh, Christmas tree here. And, yeah, it actually does work. I mean, it works. has sound and stuff. And it... I'll pan out here. It actually is uh, running around the layout. You know, you don't get, the, you know, naturally you don't get all the detail that you get with a, uh, yeah, he's going around the bend up there. Naturally, you don't get all the detail that you would with the, oh, I don't know how much the set is. You got Tom Hanks saying he's king of the North Pole with it. So, I mean, that's well worth it. Um, it, you know, it doesn't have all the details. Oh, and it even makes my signals work. Here, we'll come over here to my signals. Oh, it'll actually make the signals work. Um, like I said, it doesn't have all the details. I don't know how much those are. Uh, last time I saw one of the engines go for over $1,000. But he asked for tickets. He says, this is the Polar Express, and it... Sounds like Tom Hanks. It actually makes my signals work. And then, oops, there, I forgot how to turn it off. Um, this gear doesn't work. It says a few phrases, it says that he's king of the North Pole, this is the Polar Express, and he goes, tickets, tickets, please. And it, like I said, sounds like Tom Hanks. It also has quiet mode, where it's trying to run. I'm holding it where that'd be great for parents uh, this is honestly it's designed to either just be seasonal which that's what it's going to be for me unless I just decide to run it on my layout down here or it's designed it's really really good if you find one at Aldi and you have a child that's really interested in trains uh, but they're younger and you don't want to give them real O scale or, or anything real uh, it does seem like it's going to be pretty durable um, you're not out a whole lot if they break it because I know how I was as a kid. Um, let me move it forward. I'll show you the coaches. There is some details to it. I mean, not a lot. You're, you know, not a whole lot at all. And, uh, the couplers, couplers remind me of, let me, if I can pull it apart, the couplers are actually really good. Couplers remind me of my LGB stuff. Um, yeah, there's actually details to it and everything else, you know. 
Kind of a nice little surprise to find at Aldi, for sure. Um, it's the first train set I've ever found at Aldi. Um, but yeah, kind, kind of a fun little pickup. They also have the Hogwarts Express. Now, if I could, it, my wife really, really wants the Hogwarts train. And if we do find it, I'd probably incorporate that around our Christmas tree, too. Like I said, this stuff's light enough. And how I like to do projects, if you've been watching my Instagram, it's light enough and it's also very flexible. I may just find a way to actually put that up in my tree somehow. Um, seems like it should be feasible. The trains honestly isn't all that heavy either. Uh, but yeah, if you find one of these at Aldi, uh, I'd say pick it up. You know, like I said, it's fun and especially if you have younger children that are getting into trains it's perfect for them and like i said before uh for the parents that may think about this there's a quiet mode too for you so but uh yeah so let me know what you think of it if you got one yeah hey, yeah and you can run them like i said if you got if you do get one you have o scale yeah run it on your o scale track because it kind of cracks me up so well appreciate the watch so uh just let me know what you think